What's up guys, Josh here from Blender Bros. And in this video, I wanna show you how to use our MaterialWorks texturing plugin with our decal pack. This is a recent update. And basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to use textures from MaterialWorks on your decals. And if you have no clue what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you right here. It is a very powerful process. So let's just uh, hop right into it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to pick up material works and you obviously need to have our decal pack. If you don't have either of those, go to the link in the description. You can pick up material works platinum that includes all of our decals and all of our trim sheets for a much heavier discount. So if you don't have those, pick up the platinum version of material works, all right? So what we need to do here is we need to, and I already have material works plugged in. I'm not going to go over that in this video, but check this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a floor. I'm going to move this floor down a little bit. I'm going to scale this up, just apply the scale. And then I'm going to give this floor just a nice aluminum material. Okay. And then on this one here, I'm going to also give this a nice aluminum material. So now we have, this is how material works works basically it is a texturing plugin we've made plenty of videos on this and you can go in and do all sorts of cool stuff you can set up hgris you can set up different textures you can choose from metals plastics rubbers you can add a bevel shader you can add wear and tear to your object again i'm not going to go through all of that in this video you can uh, check that out on your own but now if we were to use our decals if we were to use the decal pack these are all of our Blender Bros decals, by the way, and you could pick that up with the platinum version of Material Works. And even if you don't want to buy it, check the link in the description, click it. The product page is going to show you how everything works, so you'll at least get a bit of value that way. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add in a random decal. So, you know, instead of modeling in this stuff manually, like you can imagine, I'd have to add in a Boolean to create this, and then I'd have to, I'll just show you real quick. I don't want to waste too much time, but you know, if I wanted to make the same detail, I'd have to go in, I'd have to run a Boolean cut, and then I'd probably have to, you know, bevel that and then, you know, extrude it up just to kind of make a similar detail. So I'd inset this. Oops, I'd probably need to apply that bevel first, but you get the idea. You're going to get, you know, a very similar shape, but it's going to take a lot longer than if you just use a decal. Now the cool thing about material works is we recently found a solution and no other plugin on the market can do this but as you can see here the outer portion of the decal the important part is inheriting the texture from material works you can see the aluminum is going through that physical decal and let me show you with a different one just to maybe a more advanced one maybe this one right here if i were to add this on you can see that the actual decal right here, let me rotate this 90 degrees, this decal is inheriting the texture from this object right here. This aluminum is now being applied to the decal as well. And again, I don't know of any other plugin on the market that can actually do this. If you buy any other texturing plugin, it's gonna have its own texture on the decal and it's gonna look fake. So I wouldn't recommend doing that, but you know, at the end of the day, that's up to you. And also, I wanna show you how this works with the trim sheets, okay? So I'm gonna go in, I'm going to add in a trim sheet, and I've briefly shown this before, but the same exact thing is gonna happen. You can literally get a trim sheet that is going to inherit the same exact material on your object, and you don't have to do anything. All you do is use the existing pack of decals that you'll have, and you just add it to the model, and the plugin is gonna do everything else for you automatically and the cool part about this guys i had some questions recently yes the wear and tear is also going to work on the object on the trim the decal whatever you can see the wear and tear it's not skipping this trim sheet that i just applied it's actually applying it over that trim sheet which is awesome so i could actually go in here i could you know drop the strength here a little bit so it's not so heavy Maybe I wanted to add in, let's add in a wear layer. Let's add in some dust, stains, smudge, whatever. And you can see when I add in those dust and the fingerprints and all that type of stuff, it literally applies 
on this trim sheet detail, you can't do this with any other plugin. There's no other plugin on the market that can do this at this moment. And again, this, this problem has been an issue for years. And all you need to do, instead of modeling in all this tiny detail, all you need to do is select the decal or the trim sheet that you want, apply it to your model with one click, and you're gonna have this exact result. So I'm gonna throw some renders on the screen right now. These are renders of ours that are using decals and trim sheets. And you can see that we didn't have to spend a lot of time adding this stuff in. All we had to do was click a button, get the decal applied, get the trim sheet applied, and that is literally all that we had to do. It's really that simple. So again, guys, if you wanna save time setting up your materials, setting up your texture, setting up your decals, your details, everything, go to the link in the description, take a look at Material Works, specifically Material Works Platinum, if you don't yet own our decal pack. See how that all works, take a look at it, and if you wanna pick it up, uh, again, the link to that is in the description, and I hope you use this in your projects because it's seriously gonna save you a ton of time. That is exactly why we made this tool, and all you have to do is install it, and you're good to go. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.